بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Allah will make sure that not only He's angry with you, but the people won't even like you. He won't give you dignity, and He will not allow the people to dignify you. Allah has made a promise that He will not allow you to get dignity by seeking it from His creation. Because He's the owner of dignity. And if you don't seek it from Him, you can't get it. This is why we are in this condition. We began to get in this degraded state. And our fall began when we started to become trying to be pleasing to people. Look at your history. Look at our history. This is when it happened. When we lost sight of the real point of everything that we do is for Allah alone. Regardless of what the people think. This is why we're in this situation. Nobody will respect you like this. I don't care how much of your deen you shave off. And sometimes literally shave off. Or take off. Or don't do. Or do. You decide to go to work or just, I need this job and I don't want people to think I'm crazy. So, you know, so I take off the hijab. It's not that serious. Allah knows in my heart. I've even had some sisters tell me I wear my hijab in my heart. Subhanallah. What if you see that on an x-ray? I had some brothers, you know, you know, I, I, I shave my beard because, you know, you don't want to, you can't be running around with a beard these days, man. You look crazy, man. Nobody's going to hire you. When it comes time for the Christmas party at work, yeah, I'm going to go. I didn't drink, you know, but I go. I want to, you know, I, I want to seem normal. It actually, you fool yourself into thinking that you're going to help them. You, they'll see that, you know, Muslims are like everybody else. I don't want to be like them, everybody else. Don't put me in that bucket. Say you're like everybody else. Because no matter what you do, they'll never respect you. They'll still, they may say, that person's okay. I'm still a Muslim. Still Muslim, still an Arab, still one of those crazy people. How do I know this? You're saying, you say, yeah, you being extreme in your ideologies, man. This is a promise of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that they will never be pleased with you until you become like them. They will never be pleased with you till you become one of them. Until you leave your deen completely and become one of them. Or you shave off so much of your deen that Allah does not even recognize you anymore as a Muslim. Then they might like you. You can call yourself a Muslim all you want. You can call yourself a Muslim all I want. Doesn't mean that you can be one. A non-Muslim can run and call himself a Muslim. If they don't do the actions of a Muslim, it's a whole different ball of wax. I could run around calling myself a, 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 a chicken all day long. I don't care how much I believe it. I guarantee you I won't get none of you to believe it. This is the game that we play with Allah. Saying that we're Muslim. And we don't do the actions of a Muslim. A Muslim, the word Muslim is a verb. It means to do Islam. So you'll never get the dignity this way, brothers and sisters. And you will end up in this condition that we're in now where no one respects Islam. No one respects Muslims. Because we can't even respect ourselves. We don't even respect ourselves. The dignity of the Muslim is وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَنْ دَعِيَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَامِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ الْإِنَّانِ مِنَا مُسْلِمِينَ This is the dignity of a Muslim, that he is a caller to Allah. As he is commanded, and he's a doer of good actions, and he says to the people plainly and clearly, without a doubt, yes, I'm Muslim. All of us know that point where we've been asked, "Are you, are you Muslim, or, or what religion are you?" And you feel that little tingling in your heart. You don't want to just come, yeah, I'm a Muslim. You're like, oh man, <laughs> why do you have to ask me that, man? We were getting along just fine. <laughs> But Allah says, if they ask you that, وَقَالَ inani مِنَ muslimin. Surely I'm a Muslim. How about you? You're not a Muslim? Oh man, I feel sorry for you. Muslims are the best people on the planet, you know? We could be. We have the, we have the potential to be. 
If we gain our understanding back and we realize who we are, that being a Muslim is your dignity, being a Muslim makes you better than anything that Allah created. It makes you better than anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. Even the angels. When you don't live Islam, when you are not acting as a Muslim, when you are not a Muslim, you go from being the best of Allah's creation very quickly. There's no sliding scale. You go from the best of Allah's creation to the worst of Allah's creation. Even worse than cows, than cattle, Allah says. Even worse than that, man. Might as well put you out to pasture somewhere. This is what I'm not just giving you some foolishness. I'm telling you what Allah and His Messenger have said about this issue. And it's the reason why we're in the predicament that we're in now, dear brothers and sisters. But there is hope. Plenty of hope. They say that when you lose hope, you lose everything. When you give up hope, you've lost everything. So there's always hope. When you have hope, you have everything, man. When you have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have everything, man. You have everything that you could ever possibly need. I don't care who likes me. I don't care who respects me. If I have favor with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man, forget you. Seriously. I don't need you to give me my dignity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it to me. Because on the flip side of this, our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, But whosoever seeks to be pleasing to Allah, even if it's at the displeasure of the people, that means I do what Allah likes, I don't care who likes it. I don't care if my boss doesn't like it. I don't care if my neighbors don't like it. I don't care if my family doesn't like it. I don't care if my wife doesn't like it. I don't care if my parents don't like it. I don't care who doesn't like it. I do what Allah likes and nothing else. Our Rasul Sallallahu said about this person, that when they seek the pleasure of Allah, even if it's at the displeasure of people, that not only would Allah become pleased with them, He would make the people pleased with them. He would make and force the people to be pleased with them. And this is the promise of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we know our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa spoke nothing but the truth. So, our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is saying that if you seek to be pleasing to Allah, that means I don't care who doesn't like the fact that it's time for me to make salah. I don't care what you got going on. I don't care if it's time for whatever it is else that's going on. It's time for me to pray. I'm praying. Dropping everything and I'm making salah. I'm not waiting to the end of the day and I go home and make Dur Asr Maghrib Isha. Jama'ah. I don't know where fifth book you read that. But this is a, a, a <laughs> this is this is a fool's way of making salah, man. Allah has said in the Quran that He has prescribed salah at fixed times, not with the exception unless you're working, unless you're going to school. I didn't. I don't know if that tafsir or that explanation is out there, but inshallah, I don't know everything. I don't care what my boss thinks. I don't care if I go to this job interview. Wearing this hijab, yeah, maybe they don't hire me. But if they don't hire me because I'm wearing a hijab, I don't need that job anyway. That's a job I don't need anyway. Because if they don't want me to wear a hijab, they certainly not going to let me pray. They certainly not going to let me go to Juma. They certainly not going to let me do anything that resembles the action of a Muslim. So why would I even waste my time? That to me, would I would wear it everywhere, every job interview I went, just to see if this is a job I want to take or not. If you hire me with this, then maybe we might be able to work with something. 